99X, it's Barnes and Leslie Fram. How's Austin? Fram's working from Austin today all week. It's actually been going great. Been having a really good time. And plus, you know, when whenever I have like a lunch break or something, you know me, I'm headed over to Congress Street to do a little shopping. I'm so jelly right now that you're there. So your award show, we can see it when? Sunday? Yeah, this Sunday night, 8 Eastern, your time on CBS. Fram's the executive producer yeah. with someone else. But yeah, so check out Fram and all her work. So you have some surprises coming on that show? CMT Music Awards. Well, you know, one of your faves is their Jelly Roll. He's great. Is he going to perform a song? Ah, uh, yes. Nice. Sunday night on CBS. Tonight with Jill, 7 to midnight, you can win a pair of tickets to C21 Pilots on the Clancy World Tour at Gas South Arena. That is September the 10th. You should see my calendar with concerts. It's unreal. There is. It's unreal. A year like we have never seen. She also, Jill, has some info about a pre-sale opportunity. Listen for more details tonight to find out more with Jill, 7 to midnight on 99X. Oh, Barnes, I have a little quiz for you. I love to be quizzed, Fran. What you got? Well, you're usually really good at these music quizzes, and so I think you're going to love this. You know, it's undeniable that we've lost a lot of great musicians in the world of 99X. I mean, a lot, unfortunately. Some at too early of an age where they could have had a long career ahead of them. But have you ever wondered with some of these artists, these musicians, what was the last song they ever played? Oh, yeah. I love stuff like this because I can just get wrapped into it yeah. m- mentally and picturing it. And it's always there's always like some weird like connection to yes. it. Ugh. Yes. All right. Here's how I'm going to quiz you. I'm going to give you the date and the location. Let's go. And I'm going to see if you can guess the artist. Are you ready? We'll all play along in your car, at your desk. Let's do this. We got it. What do you got? Okay, this is March 1st, 1994. And the height of alternative. The location? Munich, Germany. 94. 94. Think 94. We've lost so many 99X front men and uh, band members. If I would say Nirvana... Only because I was still doing afternoons then, and I remember when all that happened. And I was on the air, and CNN came over. I'm going to say um, that it's Cobain. Oh, let's see. So I guess that was that show in the, like, there was like a warehouse show or something that they did. That must have been an encore. Well, you got that right, because you remembered being on the air. That was in Munich, Heart Shaped Box. Ah, I Kurt like Cobain. Game. I like games when I win them. What else you got? Yeah, lost, the last song they ever played. Here's the date. This is July 3rd. Also in the 90s, 1996, Mm. the location, Kansas City, because you lived and worked in Kansas City. July 3rd, 96. 96. You were at 99. We were both at 99X. I have zero clue. I did not know that was the last song Lane Yeah. Man in the Box, of course, Lane Staley from Alice in Chains. 96. The last song he ever played. All right. Let's keep going. Let's go to Toronto, December 1st, 2015. Mm hmm. 2015. 15. Nine years ago? Yeah, uh, not too long ago. Who big from 99X? Yeah, last uh, song he ever played. I, I don't know. Try this. I, I didn't think that happened in, I didn't know it happened in Toronto. I didn't either. In Canada. Yeah, Scott Weiland, Unglued, STP, the last song he ever played. That I mean, just hearing the lyrics of some of these songs, and now when you listen to them on 99X, I think they take on a whole new meaning, at least to I me. I agree. This one really, this one hit hard because I had just seen this person a year earlier. Let me give you the date. May 17th, 2017, Detroit, Michigan. I know this one. Because I, the only reason I know it is because I know it was in Detroit. I didn't okay. know, I didn't know the date. I'm gonna guess Chris Cornell. Yes. Does that not freak you out? What's in this for me? Yeah, as you mentioned, all these lyrics are really haunting. Yeah, slaves and bulldozers, Soundgarden, Chris Cornell, greatest voice in rock. He's and voted by when we did that bit. Yeah. All the fans of the station voted him number one. So this is I'm quizzing Barnes. Last song they ever played. Got two so far, which is good. Okay. Again, we're going into the 2000s, July 6th, same year, 2017. 
in Birmingham, England. 17. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In Birmingham. I could give you a hint, but give I'm not. Give me a hint. No. <laughs> uh, we may have just so played a new song. I was going to guess that yeah. based on the date, because it's kind of one of the most recent. Most recent, absolutely. Chester Bennington? Yep. Uh, I bleed it out just to throw it That's away. That's what I'm saying. Whoa. Lincoln Park, and we just play that new song that Chester's on. I did not know that was his last song, and in England. I have one more. Again, last last song they ever played. Okay. Oh, man, this hit hard. Very recent. March 20th, 2022. Oh, that's easy. Argentina. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Taylor Hawkins. Yes. But I don't know what the last song was. What was it? Gone Too Soon. Yeah. The last song they ever played. Thanks, Barnes. You did well. 